Thanks for watching my video today. Let's do a simple proof of the R Frulani integral. Okay? So that the full proof or the long proof is I've already done that. But I'm going to prove in a very short way. Okay, this is the simple. So then yes, the Frulani integral is nothing but the integral from 0 to infinity f of ax minus f of bx upon x dx. Okay which is equal to f of infinity minus f of 0 times ln of a by b okay a by b this one a where a and b are constant okay so let's prove now let in our integral to be i okay integral from 0 to infinity f of ax minus f of bx upon x dx okay now we are going to change this into a double integral okay so the integral from 0 to infinity 1 over x this one and this one is nothing but f of ax minus f of bx dx okay i'm thinking also separately now this is integral from 0 to infinity 1 over x this is nothing but f of x t okay well t is going from b to a okay so if you put in here a minus f of bx okay same thing here dx is don't forget here dx okay now why i'm doing this so because this is nothing but the integral again then is the integral from 0 to infinity times 1 over x okay wait actually this is x okay don't forget this is x so 1 over x first will be 1 over x 1 over x okay this integral from 0 to infinity times this is nothing but the integral from uh, no b to a right b to a of this one is nothing but f prime of x t dt okay but this is the derivative so the, again the derivative is with respect to t so x will be constant term right so using the uh, chain rule so this will be x time f prime of x t okay x time f prime of x t where this prime is nothing but differentiation with respect to t so this x is coming here okay so that these two can get cancelled now we are left with this one then is now interchanging these two integrals then is i equal to integral from b to a integral from 0 to infinity okay x into that what i'm explaining that x f prime of x t upon x dx dt so these two can get cancelled you can get cancelled here also now then is integral from b to a integral from 0 to infinity f prime of x t dx dt now right so now we are going to integrate this one with respect to x okay so then is the integration of this one will be f of x t upon t right from x equal to 0 to infinity okay so if why this coming out here is that the reason is that if you differentiate f prime of x t okay then you'll get with respect to x again okay then you'll get t times f prime of x t so in order to get this one here i'm going to divide by t right that is the reason where x from 0 to infinity dt okay then it's integral from b to a f of infinity x infinity times t is nothing but infinity minus using the fundamental theorem of calculus okay x 0 times t is 0 right f of 0 upon t dt so these two coming out here just like constant f of infinity minus f of 0 integral from b to a dt upon t and this is nothing but our natural logarithm right ln t from b to a this is f of infinity minus f of 0 log of a by b okay therefore our full on integral the, sim the simplest proof is the integral from 0 to infinity f of x minus f of bx upon x dx which is f of infinity minus f of 0 times the natural log of a by b okay so i hope this part is clear so hence this is the proof okay